Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. Um, we got to talk about UConn, Kansas here in a second, but I do just want to ask you guys both really quick. So Purdue can't stop a point guard who goes for 31 and nine on the road. They have Brain Smith, who I think it was six turnovers. They commit four turnovers in overtime, which is more than Northwestern had for the entire game, and they give up 92 points to a Northwestern team. Is this more Purdue playing a road game against an underrated Big Ten team that has a stud point guard, and this is just what happens on the road to league play? Or is this a little bit more of the same? Like it, the the issues that we they had last year kind of popped up again against Northwestern. T, I'll go to you first on this Point guard play. I'm going to, uh, so now that I have a green screen, as you can see behind me, I'm going to put a button right here that every time we have to talk about, it, I'm just going to hit this button. I'm going to put point guard play right there. Uh, you know what you need? You know, you need yeah. to have the button be right where if you give a thumbs up, the thumbs up would pop up. I, I cut it off. I cut it off. Uh, no, I, I'm not worried about Purdue. I think Boo Booey at home, Northwestern got some momentum. You're, you're not going to go, you're not going to win every game. I'm not worried about Purdue. Vanna? I'm not worried about Purdue. I think that we we just are always going, a lot of us are going to take into account what happened last March to FDU and now equivocate that to a loss in early December and say, ah, oh, there it is. There it is. There's those problems again. They have their flaws. <laughs> they have their flaws and they got exposed and but they lost the game by four at Northwestern. Right. I got to tell you guys, I don't understand. Like, I know they lost Chase Audish, but this whole notion that Northwestern was going to take some massive step back, what are you, what are you looking at? It's because they're Northwestern, man. Like that's what. Oh, it's, it's like, that's wrong. It's, it's the name I mean, brand. Like you look at it and you just say it's Northwestern. It's the same thing as like if Purdue isn't doing well, or I'm sorry, if DePaul isn't doing well, it was like, oh, it's DePaul. You know, people just expect Northwestern to find a way not to get it done. I, I don't think you could put anybody in the same category as DePaul. I mean, that, that, that's that's Dude, that is that's insulting to Northwestern. Northwestern, I mean, Chris Collins, it, it's 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 not like last year was totally novel. They had made the NCAA tournament and and won a game before, uh, only in his tenure. And other than Audige, they welcomed back a lot of pieces to the puzzle. Boo Boo is one of the best guards in the country. He is. He put on a master class performance. Again, the line, 31 points, nine assists, no turnovers. You didn't mean to tell me that they didn't turn the ball. He didn't turn the ball over the whole game. Ryan Langberg's a winner. He came from Princeton. That was a great transfer pickup, very underrated transfer pickup. And when talking with Princeton coach Mitch Henderson, he said, I miss Ryan Langborg. We wish him the best. He's a winner. Well, he is a winner. Ty Berry is a winner. Brooks Barnheiser. You can't take him out of the game. He means a lot to them. He doesn't always accumulate the stats, but but he means a lot to that team. They're gritty. They defend enough. Now, now Friday was a different game, high-scoring game. Guys, it's very hard to only turn the ball over three times in a 45-minute span. Point guard play. Northwestern played a, a close-to-perfect game, and they beat Purdue in overtime, 92-88. to 88. Yep. All the credit belongs to Chris Collins here. I'm not tearing down the Boilermakers today. Yeah, that's that's kind of I, I rewatched the game um late last night, and that's kind of where I've landed on this. Like there's there's things that Purdue didn't do well, but you had to go for 31 9, no turnovers. The team make 10 for 20 from three, play the way they did. Let's 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 give credit instead of uh instead of Hamer and Purdue on this one. If you haven't signed up for Bet MGM yet. Use the bonus code FIELD200 and you will receive $200 in bonus bets instantly when placing your first wager of at least $10 with BetMGM. Here's what you got to do. Download the BetMGM app. Sign up using the bonus code FIELD200. Deposit at least $10 and place your first wager on any game regardless of sport. You will receive $200 in bonus bets regardless of the outcome of your wager just make sure that you use the bonus code field 200 when you sign up
And remember, BetMGM is now available under one wallet in select states. As a New Jersey resident, this is super convenient for me when I have to go cover games in New York or Philly. When across the state borders, just log into your existing account instead of having to create new accounts in each state that you go to. And most importantly, I got to let you know, we do have some fun stuff coming up for this college basketball season. Bet insurance tokens, college hoops odds boosts, my personal favorite, parlay odds boosts. So download the BetMGM app today. Thank you for watching the Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of 68 content.